Hello, I'm Pastor Tim Holsher. Thank you for joining me today. I'm continuing to look at Romans chapters 5 through 8 so that we can understand better how God has made provision for us to experience freedom with regard to our sin nature. And we started last week in Romans 5.12 and saw that the sin nature uh, entered through one man, that would be Adam. And through the sin nature, then death, and that's spiritual death, being cut off from God, entered into the world. We saw uh, this week in Romans chapters 5, 20 and, uh, verses 20 and 21, that the law entered in uh, so that the trespass would increase and that in, in turn caused the sin nature to increase. But when that where that increased, then we saw that God's grace uh, ex, ex, far exceeded anything that the sin nature did. And this idea, this issue that he's bringing up here then is then going to deal with the fact that the sin nature has reigned. We saw here that it reigned, it did, uh, for the unsaved person, as we were saying, because they, because the sin nature brought death, they were cut off from God. So before you and I were saved, the only option we had was to operate in our sin nature. We didn't know anything else. And so he says here in verse 21 that in order just as the sin nature reigned by means of the death, that is by means of our being cut off from God. In the same way then, grace might reign, has the potential now for you and I to reign through righteous activity and all of that either because we have eternal life or that we're actually living out eternal life through Jesus Christ. Now, this idea up here that, that the sin nature, when it increased, that the grace hyperabounded or really overflowed, uh, Paul picks this up again down in verse 1 of chapter 6, where he says, uh, what therefore should we say? In other words, how do we respond to this information? Shall we continue in the sin nature so that grace might multiply or might increase. Uh, some of these people may have listened to this and thought, hey, well, I guess since God's grace far exceeds, since it really hyper overflows or really overflows when the sin nature is increasing, maybe we should just continue really just functioning in the sin nature. Let's just get comfortable with it. And he uses this word that's translated continue in the English, this word epimeno. And the idea of epimeno is to, to continue doing something or to continue in an area. Uh, it's used in the book of Acts that after Peter evangelizes the household of, household of Cornelius, that they ask him to continue on or stay on with them, stay here. And it's built off, this word is built off this this, this center core, this core uh, lexeme in here, uh, meno, and that, that idea of that word had the idea of to be at ease, not just to stay in a place, but to stay there at ease. And so it's as though Paul's saying, oh, how do we respond to this information? Do we say, hey, let's just get comfortable with the sin nature because, hey, it's going to make grace increase. That's a good thing, isn't it? Don't we want grace to increase? Well, we don't want grace to increase if it's because we're doing something wrong, and this is what Paul is going to be arguing for. There's something better than that um, in this regard. So he says, shall we just continue? Shall we just get comfortable? Shall we just kind of go on in the realm of the sin nature? Uh, we have an English translation, I believe the NIV, which I don't have pulled up. They've translated, shall we go on sinning, which is is only part of what Paul's looking at here. Paul's looking at something that's broader than just the act of sin. It's just being comfortable operating in the sin nature. Uh, and the problem with operating in the sin nature is that it does not everything that we do in the sin nature is always an act of sin. Sometimes it's just a trespass, which I don't want to minimize that. Trespass is still very serious. But but we need to understand that it's talking about just let's just get to be okay with the sin nature. And Paul says in verse 2 at the beginning, this let it, let it not 
come to be. Uh, Numer or um, Holman Christian Standard Bible says absolutely not. Uh, so Lord, don't don't let that come to be. Don't let that come to be. And the reasoning for that, which we will get into uh, more tomorrow, is as many of us as have been as have died to the sin nature. How shall we yet live in it? Now he switches not from the word meno or a form of the word meno, but this word zao. How shall we go on living in it? It doesn't make any sense because he says we died to the sin nature. Well, how did we die? This is what we're going to save and we'll look at that tomorrow. But just to ask yourself this question then as you're looking at this, there is an assurance, there's an encouragement that, guess what? Yes, when my sin nature goes into drive, boy, God's grace far eclipses it, far outdoes anything that the sin nature can do. That's God. It's the nature of God. Uh, but then for us to come over in there and say, well, if that's what God's grace does, should I be operating in the sin nature more? And as Paul's saying, let it not be. We can adjust our thinking and say, there's something better. And obviously, this is what Paul's getting at. There is something better than just resigning ourselves to the sin nature, much less, or e even more seriously, to get comfortable with the sin nature. That, that also misses the whole point of what God is doing, what God has done, what God has planned for us. He's got something better for us. And we can fit this into our thinking and say, God has something better for me than just to have to be okay with the fact that the sin nature is here and uh, just know that God's grace always eclipses that. It's a great thing, but there's something better than actually resigning ourselves to that. And we're going to save that, begin looking at that tomorrow when we come back, and that will tie in more, uh, more significantly some of the things that are true about us in Christ. I want to encourage you, if you have any questions or comments on any of this, to please leave those down below in the comments section. I would like to come back and address some of these uh, questions and comments that I have received from some uh, more fully uh, down the road here. Thank you for joining me today. Put these things into your mind and have a good day in the Lord.